What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. This video is probably gonna be the most hardest and nerve wracking video yet. So stay tuned to the end to see if we're gonna be successful. We're gonna be removing the rocker panel and quarter panel and getting that fitted in. So make sure you stay tuned and let's get started. All right guys, so let's do one little quick recap then we'll get started. I went ahead and cut this out. We drilled out all the spot welds and then removed this whole section. I cut it here, and where the next piece I'll cut here, that way I can use this hole as an alignment hole and get it all aligned up. We got some damage to the inner fender too, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do. I'll probably have to end up welding this inner fender too. So it's a little more work than I thought, but usually is so let's get started on the other car get that cut out so we can get it welded in on this car so here's the old flood car we're going to take parts off and put it on the new car um we're going to take this quarter pin off but to do that we have to take the back seat off we're going to take this rubber gasket and this plastic trim and also this rocker panel cover so let's start off by taking the back seat off Alright guys, it's coming along pretty good. Took that inner fender liner out and it was full of dirt. Tyler's going to clean all that up, get us a clean working area again. Next, we're going to take this, I guess you call it seam sealer. We're going to get all that off. If you know what it's called or a good one to buy, let us know in the comments. I've never bought this stuff before. That way we can get our, the, after we get it welded up, we can get it sealed up good. And I guess the only, the best way is take a hammer and a chisel and just chisel it all the way down. And this is where we're gonna cut it. I'm not 100% sure where we're gonna cut it here yet. So let's get back to it. So this is how I did it on the other car. It wasn't too bad, but I don't know if it's better to use heat or just chisel it off. And this is where all your spot welds are. Here's your rocker panel, and there's spot welds all along here. We're gonna just separate it here. At first, I was gonna go all the way to this pinch weld, but I couldn't separate it here. I drilled all the spot welds, but it wouldn't come loose. 
so this should be easier this way. All right, now we getting all doing a little pilot hole for all the spot welds. That way we'll come back with our spot weld cutter later and drill them out. Just make it a small little pilot hole. All right, Tyler's finishing up the last few pilot holes in the spot welds. Then we're gonna go back with our spot weld cutter and cut them all out. It should be good. You don't need much. All right, we got them all drilled out. We had a few that went all the way through, which it don't really matter because this is the donor car, but you don't want them to go all the way through on the other car because you won't have any surface to weld to. Put some blue painters tape on here that way I can draw a straight line and I can cut with this little wheel and I'll probably do the same thing for right here but under here since I need some of this inner fender I'll probably I'll cut it with my wheel then maybe use the sawzall I don't know yet I haven't figured it out but I'm gonna take one step at a time get this go to the other car and see how much inner fender I need see what all I need to save Back end is not too pretty, but we're gonna shape that up exactly how we need it. It's gonna work out good. All right, we got our section cut out. It looks really good. Remember I left this hole in it right here? I'm gonna use it to match up to this hole. So I'll basically line the two holes up. I'll like scribe a mark in it, take it off. I'll cut it, that way it'll be a perfect butt joint. I still have to trim out a lot of this inner fender and then I'll trim it out on the back of here and I'll do the same thing up here. So it's going to work out perfect. It's kind of nervous about doing this, but it's, I think it's going to be perfect. So first before we get started on this, we're going to get the tire back on the old flood car, pull it out, get it out of the carport, take some pictures, get it on marketplace, try to sell some parts. So let's do that. All right, well, my dad's putting the tire on. We got the golf cart hooked up to the car, and we can't make a sh we can't go right because that pole right there, so we're gonna have to go left and then back it up to go that way. And also, one problem that there is is the back end is super close to this pole, 
and we can't also make a sharp turn that way or the back end's gonna hit it. So stay tuned and see if we hit the pole or not. All right, so you ready for me to pull the golf cart? Pull Almost. the car? Let me get this tire on. All right. So first kind of go straight a little bit so the back don't hit the post. All right, a little change in plans. There's nothing really to tie on to on the back of the car. So we're just gonna push it straight back and park it next to the Monte Carlo. And that way we can just work on it there, taking parts off as we sell them instead of having it in the back. So, and then I'll park my truck under the carport. So let's just push it back and I'll steer it and brake it that way. All right. All right, push it. Put some muscle into it. All right, so I think we. I think it'll be better if we move the car here instead of in the back. So when people buy parts, it's easier to get it from here than all the way in the back. And so we're putting the boat cover on, that way no water gets inside. And I think after that, the car is done. Yeah, and I'm gonna take my time fitting that other piece on. I don't wanna rush and do it on camera. And it's gonna take several hours. So I'm gonna be working on that the rest of the day. And that's gonna be it for this video. All right guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. We finally got the car finished and moved out from the carport and ready to get sold. If you have any questions, leave us a comment or shoot us an email at Swamp Boys Garage. And I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.